May is Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, and here's a moment in Asian Pacific American history. Patsy Mink was born in 1927 in the Hawaiian territory now known as the island of Maui. Patsy was the first in many achievements. Not only was she the first woman to be admitted to the bar in the state of Hawaii, she was the first woman of color, the first Asian American woman, and the first woman to be elected to Congress representing the people of Hawaii. After graduating from law school, Patsy founded the Oahu Young Democrats and worked as an attorney for the Territorial House of Representatives. Patsy was a trailblazer and is considered one of the great legislators of the 1960s. Patsy was a key author of the Title IX Amendment to the Higher Education Act. This act was renamed by President George W. Bush in 2002 and is now known as the Patsy Mink Equal Opportunity in Education Act. This public law prohibits anyone from being excluded from participating in any educational program or activity based on their gender. It is because of Patsy Mink's forward thinking that we have women's sports teams in our schools. During her tenure in Congress, Patsy also introduced the first comprehensive Early Childhood Education Act and authored the Women's Education Equity Act. Patsy served six consecutive terms in Congress from 1965 to 1977 and then entered the presidential race in the Oregon State primary on an anti-Vietnam War platform. She didn't win, but went on to serve President Jimmy Carter as Assistant Secretary of State for Oceans and International Environmental and Scientific Affairs under Secretaries of State Cyrus Vance and Ed Muskie. In 1990, she returned to Congress and served another 12 years. She advocated for women's rights, equal rights, reform in health care, and education until her death in 2002. This moment in Asian Pacific American history was brought to you by the United States Capitol Historical Society and the Asian Pacific American Institute for Congressional Studies.